Welcome to Downtown Buzz. I'm Maggie Campbell with the Partnership for Downtown St. Louis. And I'm Shante Ryan, and we're here to tell you about all the latest buzz in Downtown St. Louis. This month's show will take you inside two of downtown's newest hotspots, Park Avenue Coffee and Rosalita's Cantina. We'll also feature many of our upcoming events in downtown, including our new downtown-wide happy hour and free outdoor concerts. Stay tuned to the only show that features all things downtown. Welcome back to our show. I'm Maggie Campbell, and I'm here with Dale Shodi, the owner of Park Avenue Coffee, who's opened his second location in St. Louis, and we're really glad you're downtown. We're excited to be here. Well, tell me, why did you choose a location in downtown St. Louis? Well, I think a lot of our customers at our Park Avenue location in Lafayette Square, I think, stop there on their way downtown to work, and they get their coffee there in the morning, and I think we already have quite a few customers downtown already. I'm one of those. Yes. Um, I found your coffee shop when I moved um, not far from your original location. And it was and is a, still a regular stop, but it's really great having one right here by the office, too. Yeah, we love, we love downtown. The urban feel of the space is, is awesome, and we love um, a lot of people have really welcomed us down here and are excited to see us down in downtown St. Louis. So what are some of the things that the customers are saying about this location and what they like here? Um, I think they like the fact that it's closer to their office. I was really surprised in the number of customers that we have that actually live down here and came to our Lafayette Square location. So those folks are actually really excited, so now they don't they can walk down instead of have to drive to Lafayette Square. And you said you've had a great turnout even on the weekends. You're yeah, I was really kind of worried about what the weekends would bring, with because obviously all the business people or most of the business people are gone on the weekends. We've had a tremendous outpouring of support from the local residents here uh, within a few blocks, and it's been nice to see them down here on Saturday and Sunday morning. That's great. So what are your hours right now, and what are your plans? Well, right now our hours are 7 a.m. every morning, except for Sunday we open at 7.30. And then on uh, every evening we are here until 6 p.m. We would love to be open later. I'm just not sure if the neighborhood is ready to support someone in the evening for a coffee shop. But if, if the neighborhood supports it, we would love to be here in the evening. Good. Well, we hope everybody will support it and you'll be open in the evening because we need neighborhood places like this. Yeah, and it's a great neighborhood hangout. That's one thing that we really want to bring to downtown and I think we brought to Lafayette Square is a neighborhood community meeting space a neighborhood coffee shop. And I think downtown has a, a ton of great coffee, but a lot of it's in office buildings, a lot of it's in hotel lobbies, and there's not a lot of places that are open until six o'clock. And there's not a lot of places you can come and just hang out, you know, have free Wi-Fi, grab a cup of coffee, meet a friend, or have a business meeting offsite. And you guys have done such a good job in your design. Uh, it's definitely taking a page from your Lafayette Square location in terms of the colors and the setting. Yeah, but it's I, got its own feel too. Yeah, I, I think it has the Park Avenue coffee feel. But what's obviously way, way different in this location than the Lafayette Square location is it's twice the size, it has twice the seating, and the ceilings are you know 18 feet. It's a loft space, has ex exposed brick and exposed ductwork, so it's a very urban feel of the the first coffee Lafayette Square location, which obviously is very quaint and smaller and cozy and just seems much more quaint. Where this is definitely more urban feeling. But you still offer the same sort of comfy chairs and you know sort of private table settings where people can have a business meeting or right absolutely i think it's i think it's we need to have the same feel we have the same exact menu the same specialty drinks the same fresh baked goods our 70 flavors of gooey butter cake all that is exactly the same you're going to get the same quality of service that you get at lafayette square it's just going to be a little bit different environment with it being much more open uh, the taller ceilings the loft feel it's a very urban feeling the Lafayette Square location, actually. Well, we're really glad you're here. Tell me, you mentioned the gooey butter cakes, which you're right. famous for, right. and uh, obviously you sell coffee, but tell us a little bit more about your offerings here. Well, we actually do 73 flavors of gooey butter cake. Every day we have 12 different flavors available by the slice or by the whole cake. We also do all of our muffins, bagels, scones, cinnamon rolls, cookies. We bake those fresh in the store every day, so there's always something fresh out of the oven. 
And then um, we also have, of course, our specialty drinks. We do banana bread. We have desserts. We have two types of brownies. We have mini apple, cherry, peach, and blueberry pies. Uh, we have just tons of desserts. So come in after dinner, come in after, after lunch, and have a dessert and coffee on your way back to the office. And of course, we always have our gooey butter cakes as well. You're making me hungry. <laughs> now, you guys do a ton of business. Um, catering business and online business as well, don't you? Right, we ship our gooey butter cakes worldwide. And actually recently we were featured on Food Network um, and it was a national show on, it was called Food Feuds. And we did a gooey butter war or challenge on there and we were voted or, or chosen the, the best gooey butter cake. So that's really increased our online traffic. And it has also increased, uh, another reason to be downtown is also increased the number of folks who have actually come to St. Louis and have seek, seeked us out because they saw us on TV. And so being downtown, there's a lot more business travelers down here, there's convention people down here. So we've seen a lot of people who've come in who've seen us on Food Network. So that's helped being in this location, being closer to the convention center, closer to the downtown hotels and more convenient for those guests. Now, when we first met and started to get to know each other, you shared with me that this wasn't your background, although it's turned into a family business. Right, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about how you ended up? <laughs> yeah, actually, <clears throat> the condensed version of that is <clears throat> I was a computer network engineer for, for many, many years and worked for a company, and a friend of mine opened the Lafayette Square Coffee Shop under a different name, and I helped her out with her point-of-sale system, and I helped her out with her wireless internet because that was my, my, my business at that time, and that's what I did. And Fast forward two years, she ends up wanting to sell the location. She calls me, didn't expect to buy it, told her no. Same time, my sister found out that she had lost her job after being 20 years at a, at a chain restaurant. And so we decided that we would go ahead and do it. And so we opened it up, and my sister started making my mom's traditional gooey butter cake. You know, we were a local shop. We thought we should do local stuff. And what's more local to St. Louis than gooey butter cake? So she started making my mom's gooey butter cake and you know, a, wom a woman came in one day and said, hey, there used to be a grocery store in the area that would put apples in those cakes around the holidays. Can you do that? And my sister's like, well, sure, we can do that. Well, now we have 75 plus flavors. Uh, my sister runs our baking operation, uh, which is Ann and Allen Baking Company, and all of our gooey right. butter cakes are into that. And she runs that with four full-time bakers herself and a driver. And then we get deliveries every day uh, from Ann and Allen with our fresh gooey butter cake deliveries and some other stuff they bake for us here as well. So what's your favorite thing about Park Avenue Coffee and this business that you've created? I love the relationships that we build. The people that we get to know, you know, they're not really customers, they're friends. They come in, we, we know what they drink. We know, you know, in Lafayette Square, we know what they drive. So we see their car pull up. And it's really, it's, you know, we may be in the coffee business, but really I've always, I tell everybody who comes in and on all of our staff is that we're really in the people business. And we just happen to sell coffee. So it's all about building relationships with our customers you know, getting to know our customers and just giving really great customer service to our customers every time they walk in. Well, you do such a good job of that. And your store is creating a great buzz downtown and we're really glad you've joined the neighborhood and are bringing this much energy to downtown St. Louis. I am, I am thrilled to be down here. Like I said, I love the urban feel of this space, maybe even more so than the Lafayette Square location, though that's obviously oh, our first nice. location. But I love the urban feel of this down here and, and the neighborhood has been so welcoming so far. It's well, been we fantastic. Hope, we hope you're a huge success here. Well, thank you so much. Up next is Shantae telling us about some upcoming events you don't want to miss. Stay tuned.
Our first up event is Parties on the Plaza. You can enjoy free outdoor concerts at the Old Post Office Plaza located at 8th and Locust. The first one is May 12th and will feature Fat Pocket. June 9th will feature Plastic. July 14th, Hollywood 5. Jake Austin and the City Limits will be on August 11th, and the Whale Hungarians will close us out on September 8th. We'll have food and beverage from Lumiere Place Casino and Hotels and River City Casino, and Laclede Gas is our presenting sponsor. Who doesn't enjoy a great movie? What about free outdoor movies on the Post Office Plaza? Cinema on the Plaza will be every Friday, June, and September. You can get a complete listing of all the free movies you can see, but we plan to see you out at the Post Office Plaza every Friday, June, and September. Complete lineup can be found at downtownstl.org. Did you get a chance to visit our downtown farmer's market last year? Well, guess what? It's coming back at a new time. Same place, Post Office Plaza, 8th and Locust, but it'll be at a new lunchtime hour, so you can come out on your lunch, you can browse, get the best fresh produce and meats and, and organic uh, goods that you can find. We invite you out to our downtown farmer's market. You can pull right up next to the curb, get what you need, and go right on back to work. We'll be there all afternoon at the downtown farmer's market. See you there. Are you looking for a great place to hang out with your friends and your co-workers? Well, how about our new event this year? June through August, join us at Wednesday Night Out. A couple of the places that we'll be featuring on this show, both Rosalita's and Jive and Well, will be a part of our new summer promotion. It's a downtown-wide happy hour, Wednesday Night Out, 5 to 7 p.m. You can check our website, downtownstl.org, for all the great places. There's 20 different places. Just come out of your office building, come out of your residential unit, and just go to your nearest place that's listed on the website. Wednesday Night Out, we'll see you every Wednesday this summer. Rosalita's Cantina is the McGowan Brothers' latest storefront concept located at 1225 Washington Avenue. It's now open and I'm here with Juan Carlos and he's one of the managers and welcome to our show. Well, thank you for having me today. How are you? I'm good. Thank Excellent. you. This is like one of the hot spots on Washington Avenue. I mean, are you guys excited about all the buzz you're getting? Absolutely. I think uh, for the first six months we've been open, it's a uh, far greater you know, expectation. I think we've exceeded. And I think we've got a lot of positive feedback on the food and the drinks and uh, just the whole ambiance and atmosphere we're trying to bring here to Rosalita's and to Washington Avenue. I think uh, we're a pretty good fit for the street down here. So. And this is Tex-Mex, right? Yes, What yes. does that mean exactly? Tex-Mex is kind of like um, an American spin on Mexican. It's a little less flavorful or not so much. Mexican is very, uh, very heavy in spices and all that. We're kind of more of a toned down so more people can enjoy it. Sometimes we don't want to alienate people with too many spices and uh, taste like that. So, so we, we've been here several times. I love the atmosphere. I love the food. We'll talk about that in a minute, yeah. but I love the atmosphere. Tell us a little bit about the atmosphere, some of the decor, how you're set up here. Absolutely. Uh, we really wanted to go uh, kind of like a trendy, upbeat feel to fit in on Washington Avenue, but we, we wanted everyone to feel comfortable when they came, relaxed, to enjoy themselves. 
Uh, most of our, our chairs as we're sitting in now are uh, handmade, hand carved uh, from Mexico. A lot of our decor were from auctions of old estate sales and all that good. Uh, the tables were all handmade from uh, the barn wood that we had here in the restaurant and when we uh, gutted and cleaned it all up. And uh, we just really wanted to have the color with the tiles and all that. We didn't want to, you know, put the colors into everyone's face. You know, we didn't want to alienate anyone or uh, go over, you know, too broad. But we wanted people to come in and feel comfortable. And we've got a lot of positive feedback about the decor. Everyone loves it. Everyone asks who our decorator was. So, uh, you know, drumming up business for everyone else is always good. Yeah, so. what about your upper deck? Do you get a lot of requests for that? Absolutely. Our mezzanine, uh, it took us about a month after we opened to fully get that going. Uh, we have a banquet room in the back to accommodate up to 50 people. So people can do private parties? Absolutely. Too. We do uh, banquets, uh, off menu. We can do fixed price menus and all that. Uh, buffet style tends to be the best for large parties. Uh, it's and we quick tried and that. We had our downtown idiot ride after party yes, here. And we were packed. It was walls and Yes, wild. that was a lot of fun. That was, uh, it's always good to have about 200 people in your restaurant on a Saturday afternoon. So, What kind of promotions do you guys usually have going on on a daily basis? I know you do a happy hour. Yes, our happy hour is Monday through Friday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, we have $4 house margaritas, $2 draft beers, and $3 well drinks as well as $3 off appetizers, everything but the uh, Fiesta platter. Your bar area is always hopping. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do special that you get so many people to come with your, I think you have, it looks like snow snow cone machine drinks type Oh yeah, thing. Our, our, flo our frozen uh, margaritas have, we yeah. have here on the table right. uh, are part of our happy hour. Not okay. this size, unfortunately, right. just right. a 14 ounce. Right. But I really believe that, uh, one, the storefront windows we have, uh, the music that we have playing, we try to keep it at a good level to you know, draw people in, and uh, it's just very comfortable. Again, it goes back to the comfort factor. Everyone comes in and enjoys themselves, and you know, once you have a crowd, more people want to go where the crowd is and all that. So, just by word of mouth, and people just keep coming. And usually on Fridays like tonight, we'll be rocking and rolling by five five thirty. So. Right. Oh, you have a big event coming up, Cinco de Mayo. Yes, Cinco de Mayo. That is May 5th for everyone who doesn't know. Yeah. Uh, We're closing down Washington Avenue from Tucker to 13th. We're going to have live music uh, starting at 1 p.m. and going all the way to 1 a.m. We're going to have uh, raffle auctions. We're going to have attendance prizes. We're going to have a margarita truck out front. We're going to have different games and all that good stuff. Uh, table set up under a large tent. And uh, we're really just looking to introduce ourselves. Kind of our big blowout uh, to show everyone on Washington Avenue who we are and hopefully everyone comes down and enjoys what we have to offer. So we talked a little bit about your drink specialties. Let's, let's dive right into the food. Some of the things that are most popular that we want to showcase. Let's talk about that. Absolutely. Well, right here we have our shrimp Diablo. Uh, it is six jumbo shrimp uh, tossed in a poblano rojas and uh, caramelized onions. And you have our rice topped with some fresh cilantro. And then we also have our charro beans, uh, which are more like boiled. And then instead of refried beans, how they're mostly uh, puree, these are a little more flavorful mm -hmm. and uh, they go really good. The nice balance with the rice and the shrimp diablo. It's a little spicy. We warn people before they order that. Uh, it's got a nice little kick to it, but uh, if you're not afraid of the heat, it's a very good uh, entree to have. Okay, what else you have? And then here we have our Dorado Oaxaca. It's topped with a, a corn and black bean pico de gallo. It's served with our corn masita and also um, sauteed zucchini and squash. And it's also the uh, fish is a mahi and it is prepared in a banana leaf so it gives a lot of good steam and a very nice texture to the fish. You know mahi is a very light uh, flavorful fish, yeah. fluffy. It takes on the characteristics of whatever uh, flavors you use okay. so I think it has a nice balance on there and the lime, fresh lime there just kind of accentuates what we're trying to do with that plate. Okay. Then here we have our stuffed jalapenos. It's stuffed with chorizo and shrimp and, it's, uh, and they're not deep fried. A lot of people ask if they're fried jalapeno poppers. No, these are traditional stuffed jalapenos and we use our mango habanero salsa. So it's very hot. Uh, a lot of people like it. Um, they're but like huge, I said, yes, I mean, they will, uh, they have a nice little kick to them. So again, we warn our people when, we, when they order, you know, they are hot. I mean, the mango habanero is very good. The mango is kind of a sweet, cool flavor with the habanero is very hot. It's one of the hottest peppers around. Mm. So it plays and balances very well. It goes well with the margarita, as you can see. Oh, so, okay. And then here we have our half roasted adobo chicken. It's topped with a mole sauce and also served with our zucchini and squash and our uh, Mexican rice, and also topped with fresh cilantro. Uh, cilantro is a big part in uh, 
all Mexican or Tex-Mex dishes. Uh, it just helps uh, bring a little color to the plate and uh, a little flavor. It brings out everything you accentuate. It looks spicy too. Is that spicy? Not really. Uh, the mo no, no, it's just how it's prepared. Okay. It's oven baked and then we just throw it on the flat top to give it that little golden color to it. And the mole is a very sweet sauce. Uh, so it's very nice. Uh, it's really good actually. So it's one of our newer dishes that we brought onto the menu just recently. What are your hours usually? Our hours are Sunday through Wednesday, uh, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And the bar, depending on business, can be open until 3 a.m. Uh, Fridays and Saturdays is traditionally 3 a.m. Rest of the week is usually 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, welcome to the neighborhood. We certainly enjoy having you all here. Uh, the McGowan Brothers have been great partners uh, in downtown St. Louis. And uh, Rosalita's, I'm so glad that you guys are doing well. We look forward to your Cinco de Mayo celebration Excellent. again, which is May 5th. Um, once again, both Rosalita's and Jive and Well will be a part of our downtown-wide happy hour Wednesday night out. It begins in June. It goes all summer long through August, 5 to 7 p.m. Come down to Rosalita's. You can check out Downtown STL for more details. Well, some of the things we'll be having will be half price appetizers. We'll have drink specials and uh, lots more as part of this promotion. So up next, a dueling piano bar. Yes, right here in downtown St. Louis. Stay tuned. Shantae Ryan here at Jive and Well. It's a sing-along, clap-along, drink-along, dueling piano bar right here on Washington Avenue in downtown St. Louis. We're joined today by Steve. He's one of the owners here, and welcome to our show. Thank you. A dueling piano bar in downtown St. Louis. How have you guys been doing? It's been doing good. Uh, weekends have been busy, mm -hmm. um, you know, trying to expand off of that. We've been going since about November 24th of last year and things keep chugging along. It's a great concept. Explain to us what a dueling piano bar is. Uh, it's an all request driven show, so you have two piano players on stage playing off each other. So the crowd is very interactive with the show. They put together a request, they'll take it up to the piano player, 
and ask him to play it. Of course, if it comes with a tip, it helps you know get played a little quicker. These guys are pros. You know, yeah. These guys come in from all across the country to do this. They are, are they're very uh, skilled at what they do, and you know they, they know literally thousands of songs. We do a lot of group events, a lot of corporate events. Earlier in the night, you know, the crowd's typically a little bit older, you know, which is good. And as it progresses, it gets a little bit younger. So the, the, obviously the style of song, the things that they're playing changes throughout the night. Okay. You serve food here as well, right? We do. We have a full menu. We actually have a chef, too. It's not just, you know, somebody who can run a grill. Um, and she's very skilled, which helps when we do these larger corporate events. You know, a lot of those typically are going on in the, in the winter, around the holidays. But, you know, we're trying to get more of that going on during the year. And you have happy hour, and um, what's, what are some of your happy hour specials? Thursday we have a really good special. Um, right now we're running seven dollar domestic buckets of beer, so that's a pretty aggressive oh, special. Yeah. We also have uh, half price martinis for women Ooh, and men too, but it's, it's really catered more for the women for a ladies night type of feel. Um, Friday we have what's called a three 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 uh, happy hour special. It's three dollar well drinks, three dollar grass, and three dollar domestics. Well I know people are always looking for things to do after work. So it's great that you guys have specials to try to keep them down here. Um, you guys are also part of our Wednesday night out promotion, which we'll be going this during the summer. So this is another place where you all uh, in our audience can come and um, take another happy hour if you could drive them well. Thank you guys for uh, partnering with us in downtown St. Louis. It's great to have you here. We are going to now cut to Christian Cartier. He is uh, one of the uh, piano players here. He's doing a fantastic job in the background and check him out. And after that, stay tuned for more downtown buzz. Still peaceful, dreams I see. The road is bound to you. Jordan, oh sweet Georgia, no peace I find. Just an old sweet song. Georgia on my mind There's an old sweet song It's Georgia on my mind We hope to see you real soon here in downtown St. Louis either grabbing coffee at Park Avenue Coffee or enjoying Tex-Mex at Rosalita's Cantina. We also invite you to join us at one of the many events happening this season in downtown St. Louis. You can find details on our website, downtownstl.org. Or you can find us on Facebook and Twitter to get regular downtown updates. That's it for us. Thanks for joining us on Downtown Buzz and make it a great day. <laughs>